everyone and welcome to another episode of Newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in these videos we tell you all the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can just skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, we've noticed that more than a few of our Asia region backers asking for updates on the location of their pledges for Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2. Now, while it is true that VFI Asia is usually the first hub to begin deliveries because they're able to pick up their pledges by truck directly from the factory, keep in mind that they are in the middle of Chinese New Year, so deliveries will begin once Chinese New Year has ended. I'll be hosting both of my videos this week, but I may need to adjust the start time of the Mythic Plays to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursday because of some schedule changes in my household this week. My live Q&A will stay on the same schedule at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Friday, though. We don't have a whole lot of news to share this week, but we do have some long-awaited news for Darkest Dungeon backers and some following up for Monster Apocalypse backers, so let's get to it. For Darkest Dungeon today, we get a first-hand look at the Darkest Organizer, for which many of you have been asking. Now, the pictures you're seeing now are of a resin-printed prototype painted gray. The final design will be very resistant plastic, the lid will be clear, the removable cups red, and the big bottom tray will be black. The last picture we're showing you today is the intended configuration of the Darkest Organizer, but frankly, the organization of the cups and the organizer will be up to you, ultimately. The small cups will come in groups of six. While testing it out, we found that the smaller cups were more prone to tipping over on their own, so we grouped them together in packs of six for greater stability during gameplay. The logo on the clear lid will be a Darkest Dungeon logo, but the trays themselves will retain the Mythic Games logo. The Darkest Organizer will fit in the core box with about one centimeter of lid lift difference, and its global dimensions are approximately 30 by 20 by 4 centimeters. We're also looking at making the bottoms of each of the cups to be rounded on the outside corners along the blue lines in the last picture to make getting the tokens out of them a bit easier, but we're waiting on hearing back from the factory about this. Looking forward, this modular organization for storage will be saved at the factory for use on future projects. Making changes to its modularity will be simple and inexpensive, even if a mold must be added for another project's needs. So we're super excited about the impact such a simple design will have on the usability of our organizers in the future. What's up, Kaiju Cons? Not a lot of earth-shattering news this week for Monster Apocalypse. However, there is a three-player playthrough video in French for your viewing pleasure. It's a full game with studio-painted minis and some great head-to-head -head moments. Check out the video on our YouTube channel. Now, to recap our production progress, photography has begun for the rulebook, but we don't have any laid-out samples to share yet, but rest assured, we'll share those as soon as we do. Stack card changes from the feedback we've received is still ongoing, and there is a raft of change requests that have come from Privateer Press, including quite a few to change up the playtest version of Anglax that was shown last week. Just to be clear, though, that image of her alpha form was a work in progress, and we will show her off in all her full glory once her stack card has been rubber-stamped and approved by Privateer Press. A couple of eagle-eyed backers have pointed out some challenges identifying hazard spaces on the Comet Catastrophe prototype. Now, there is a hazard icon on the map that wasn't there in previous Privateer Press iterations. So, there shouldn't be any further challenges figuring out whether it's safe or not to move into a space. Concerning a pre-paint ink wash, we've no further news at present, but as soon as we get an update from the factory after Chinese New Year, we'll let you know. And finally, we're still researching the feasibility of including the alternate sculpts in the hardcore unit boxes, but we'll keep you all informed as soon as we can. That's it for now, though. Check your six and call in the guard at the first sign of monsters. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So 
Tune in if you have any questions or if you just want to see what wonders he might be able to show. Because you just never know what Leo's going to do. As mentioned earlier, other than the slight change on Thursday, I'll be back to normal this week for my other two videos. So be on the lookout for those on Thursday and Friday. That's it for today, though. Once again, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <music>